back to the 411 report. I have an article and a video here from Trump News. Uh, it goes on to talking about an interv interview with Paul Sperry. Alex Jones reveals Obama's dangerous, demented plan to unleash a violent civil war that ends with Trump being arrested, executed, or removed from office. And just planning the overthrow of the government and just all sorts of destabilization and craziness. Uh, you have really laid it out in this article. Uh, let's break this down. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I mean, Obama is, is the master, um, mastermind behind all these protests and the sabotaging of, of Trump. Uh, you know, Trump's hitting Hillary today in this press conference when he should be calling out Trump, uh, Obama. I mean, he, this organizing for action is what I, I look at in this, this piece in the New York Post. Uh, it's listed as Obama's, uh, on Obama's new um, uh, post-presidency website, one of only two organizations listed, uh, the other being the Obama Foundation, in fact, uh, He's going to merge the two organizations into this very well-funded organizing and protesting superstructure. And, uh, you know, he, he's, he's bitter at the election results, and um, he's desperate to salvage his legacy. Uh, and and that, that goes for everything from Obamacare to the Iran deal. And uh, he wants to continue to advance the leftist agenda that voters repudiated at the polls. Um, so what he's setting up here is a shadow opposition government and it, that's not good folks it's already wreaking havoc on the new republican administration and it's um, you know popular very popular america first agenda and uh, there's remnants of obama's uh, administration still deeply entrenched inside the trump government where they're sabotaging him from the inside meanwhile obama's building this shadow government that I talk about in this column from the outside to sabotage Trump and his agenda. So he's got Obama saboteurs working on the inside against Trump and Obama saboteurs working against Trump on the inside. And, and in your article, you link to all their own groups, their own statements. It's like it's not even hidden that they say we're going to sabotage the agenda. We're going to try to throw him out of office. Michael Moore is saying he is a Russian, not just he's a Russian agent with no proof, and that we're going to overthrow him. Michael and they've got... Moore former CIA people running around like Evan McMullen saying he's a domestic enemy. I mean, this is like Twilight Zone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a little worried if Trump doesn't, and Republicans, because they're getting hit, too, at these um, uh, town hall meetings, and they're really going to get hit even harder next week during the recess by these groups, by Obama's group, OFA, primarily. But I'm a little worried if, if Trump doesn't get out in front of this and call it for what it is, actually directly call Obama out. Forget about Hillary. His, Hillary's gone. His main concern right now is Obama. I mean, the guy set up a bunker just down the street from the White House. Um, he's got a, a mansion. He's got the offices, OFA, the Obama Foundation offices he's setting up in there. He's got his own chief of staff, press secretary. He's got a shadow White House just within two miles of Trump where he can just launch and fire salvo after salvo uh, against Trump uh, just down the street. But um, I'm a little wow. concerned that if Trump doesn't get out in front of this and call it for what it is, uh, Obama could spark something on the order of a civil war here. Wow. Wow. Wow is right. And, you know, they're, they're working on everything. They're trying to shut down any alternative media in any way they can. They, they have been... Um, after Alex Jones and Infowar and even um, the the natural uh, news, even people like me who aren't really any competition um, for for these uh, big organizations, but even me, uh, most of the videos that I put up, if they have anything that says um, in favor of Donald Trump. Or even anything lately today was uh, even my story on the Bible page that was, say, uh, on the Twin Towers uh, building, what was left of it. Um, they even uh, said that that wasn't uh, advertiser friendly, so they um, 
demonetized it. They're going through and demonetizing anything that has to do with Pizzagate, pedophiles, criminals in in our government, Obama, or anything that is in favor of Trump. They're demonetizing that too. So it's getting really hard to be able to um, put a story out there. Um, well, actually, just read the news. It's getting very hard to just read the news uh, and, and be able to uh, make, you know, a little tiny bit of money. So um, it goes on. This is quite lengthy um, article and it was written by Natural News because they are really, really um, going after them and Alex Jones here. It says some um, now it's abundantly clear that Obama's sabotage effort is not merely targeting Trump himself, but also targeting Trump supporters in the independent media. Hence the threats against natural news, Infowars, Breitbart, and others. Others like me and Lisa Haven and just, you know, so, so many others. Um, he's doing it through a network of leftist nonprofit uh, led by Organization for Action writes the New York Post, since Donald Trump's election, this little known but well-funded protesting arm has beefed up uh, staff and ramped up recruitment of young liberal activists, declaring on its website, we're not backing down. Determined to savage Obama's, salvage, I mean, Obama's legacy, it's drawing battle lines on immigration, Obamacare, race relations, climate change, just basically anything that Trump tries to do and anything that us patriots or nationalist Americans would like to have in America, they are trying to sabotage the efforts of that. It says that's why natural news is targeted number one for the left wing hate groups that now run Obama's shadow government that seeks the absolute destruction of America as we know it. And we not only support Trump's vision for America, but we also expose the fake science fraud of climate change and the incredible failure of the Obamacare fiasco. That's right. And I have to say that that was the reason why I started my channel, because there was so much fake news that I wanted to take the time to go and find the truth behind these articles that the MSN was putting out. I wanted to find out what was really going on so that I could put it out there. You know, but they're even targeting me, little old me. Um, but it says, uh, in essence, after losing the election, the hate-filled anti-American Democratic Party, now run by unhinged lunatics and advocates of terror-styled violence, style violence against Trump supporters, and I already told you what happened to me the day after um, the election, uh, have decided to go rogue and literally engage in acts of sedition and treason against the United States government while undermining Trump's popular support with targeted attacks against unspoken pro-Trump publishers. You get that? <laughs> like me. <laughs> So I hope it says here why the left will fail miserably, and I hope that they do. Uh, I really do. But I've always got news uh, for the libertards running all of this. It won't work. By attacking the independent media, all you do is strengthen our determination to defeat the anti-American traitors who will be identified, arrested, and removed from power one by one. Yep. Even if they demonetize every single video I do, the truth is so important that if I have to sit here and do it and get a, another part-time job to be able to bring you the news and do it at 2 or 3 in the morning, then that's what I'll do because you deserve to have the truth, the whole truth, not their slanted um, agenda that, that they want to brainwash you with. President Trump isn't backing down from his mission to defend America's interests, and neither will we. That's right. We're going to share these videos. We're going to talk to each other. We're not going to allow them to get away with this. Don't be surprised if one day we see Barack Obama arrested for treason. Say what? Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, I'm going to go get fireworks, and I'm going to set off fireworks. Hopefully it won't be against the law in my city. 
<laughs> or you might see me on the news, but I will celebrate the day that Barack Obama, the Obama nation, who, who tried to take down America and still hasn't stopped, even when we got him out of office, I will celebrate that day. And I'm sure there's many millions of Americans who feel that way. So anyway, it says, um, Obama is guilty, and it says, as I've also pointed out in another natural news article, it is also time to start arresting the traitors pretending to be journalists. Yes, exactly. Let's uh, haul them off in uh, handcuffs, too. Like the New York Times, Washington Post, and other fake news outlets. Don't forget, you know, CNN and um, MSNBC. And my gosh, there's so many that are actively conspiring to overthrow the United States government. And you can hear, if you like this guy's report, um, you can hear his podcast at, it says here, Health Ranger Report to learn more. Or you can go to this link here and, and play it. But it's, it's like 30 minutes, so I won't be doing that on this video. But until next time, thanks for tuning in.